the, the decrees that you used in the meditation, do you spontaneously create your own decree or are those standard words that you use? Well, there are decrees that have a lot of momentum behind them. And a lot of those were given by Godfrey Ray King, who was a student at St. Germain, you know. And um, he, Pearl, my teacher, learned a lot of them from him. And, uh, and so I learned them consequently from her, and also from the I Am books. Um, and so I like, I like them because they have a lot of momentum behind them, but you can adapt them to your own particular situation. And the most important thing is that the decree have a lot of, that you have a personal connection to it. If the decree doesn't feel natural to you, it doesn't mean anything to you, then don't do it, you know. Do, do it, alter it to make it feel right for you. So you, you put, gave two decrees in the mm -hmm. meditation. I have a short-term memory. I'm going to write them down if you can. Yeah, well, they're also in my book, I Am Affirmations. And uh, one is, uh, you know, I, well, I am the living light, you know, okay. and I am the Son of God, S-U-N, okay. S-U-N, Son of God. Um, you, can, you can also create your own, like I've, I've been giving out this one, I am the Divine Mother. Just feel that, boom, immediately. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is being amplified by Mother Mary, you know. And over the last few years, she and Kuan Yin have really been pushing me to bring more of that focus in. Because so many of the um, teachings on the earth are patriarchal. And to bring in what's to bring in that mother energy that's going to heal the earth. That's all. It's the only way we're going to really achieve peace is if that mother energy comes into balance with the father energy. So to just feel, I am the divine mother right here and now, and just go into your heart and feel that compassion. I am the mother of all beings. I am the love of the Divine Mother flowing forth to humanity. I am the compassion of Kuan Yin. And another thing is to feel gratitude to your own mother. Now, I had a hard time with my mother. She was, you know, very strict, and uh, I never really felt that warm, loving mother energy from her. I did feel it from my grandmother, who passed on when I was about seven. But even though I had a difficult time with my mother, lately I've been like looking at my body and saying, this is a gift. I could not be here. I could not do any of what I've been doing if it were not for my mother. And she tried really, really hard to make me a good person, teach me etiquette, you know, all those good things. And she was just knocking herself out to be what she considered a good mother, even though I would have liked a you know, mother more, you know, encouraging me to, you know, go out and carouse or, or you know, go out and play and do all the little boy things, you know, she was really, um, kept me kind of on a leash, you know, but it was all out of good intention. And I realize now, really, what the great gifts that she gave to me. And uh, she gave me this vehicle to be in the world, and I, I pour out a lot of gratitude to her. And I think all of us can just send, you know, Mother, wherever you are, I love you and I'm grateful because without you, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. And uh, of course, we can send out to our fathers too, but generally it's the mother that really has that 
early, gives you that early training, you know, and um, they asked the Dalai Lama how to learn compassion, and he said his first guru was his mother, that he learned this from her. She would get up something like three or four in the morning, have to walk, you know, five miles to get water, bring back buckets of water so she could start making breakfast for the family, raised a huge family, you know, was busy all day long, and when he thinks, when he wants to develop more compassion, and he's considered the embodiment of compassion, he's considered the embodiment of Chen Razi, which is the Lord of Compassion, he says, I think of my mother, that's where I, that's how I develop more compassion. So as, as we're sitting here, we've invoked that mother energy, so we can send our thoughts to Mother Mary, and just free of any concepts, you know, like she doesn't belong to the Catholic Church. Whoever she is, she is a great mother goddess on the earth, and she works through all people, men as well as women, but especially mothers, especially women have this great connection with her and she is really wanting to come forth now and extend that love to everyone. So we can say, Mary, we love you. We would like to feel closer to you. We ask for your love and compassion in our lives and in our worlds. We come forth for all humanity and bring peace. And we thank you. Sometimes I'll, I'll be in a situation like someone is sick or suffering in some way, and I say, I am the presence of Mother Mary, come forth for this person. And I visualize Mary above their bed, sending light down into them. Or wherever they are, somebody suffering, you see someone in a cafe who's going through something hard. Mother Mary, I ask you to bless that person, and imagine that they're enfolded in a beautiful ball of pink light. <laughs> 